Hello, everyone. Welcome back to JSA TV. We're here live from DCD, Virginia in Leesburg, just outside of Washington, DC. We are right in the middle of the conference um, area, and there's a lot of activity happening. Very big day here at DCD, Virginia. Very excited to be here. Uh, we are covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations in the digital infrastructure sector with leaders such as Keith Dunavant. You are, I'm going to read your title, VP of Offer Strategy and Portfolio Management with Munters. Thank you so much for joining us again, Keith. Pleasure to be here. And funny enough, the last time we had this chat on JSA TV was here at the same event last year at DCD Virginia a year ago. Um, so we'll just dive right in. If you could just tell our viewers a little update since the last time you've spoken with us, what are some key highlights for Munters? Sure. A lot of exciting things going on within the Munters data center business area. Mm -hmm. um, we uh, First of all, to kick it off, we acquired a, a really high-end uh, manufacturer of chillers uh, based in Italy called Geoclima. Um, they are a pioneer in the field of, of uh, designing chillers using the magnetic bearing compressor technology, so super efficient. Uh, and they had some really cool other technologies with circular condensers to maximize the surface area available for heat rejection. So we're Super excited to be taking that product on. Already are seeing a lot of uh, demand for that product in the Americas and, and around the globe. So that that's the first thing of note. And then um, uh, next I'll say we have a, a new factory coming online in Cork, Ireland. Mm. And that's uh, primarily to support the growing demand for data center cooling products in the European market and, and globally. Um, and then finally, uh, I'll mention that we have an interesting partnership going on with Zutacore, which uh, Zutacore is a leading manufacturer of two-phase um, cold plate technology. And so uh, the partnership involves us, Munters, integrating our thermosiphon-based heat transfer uh, technology called Cycool mm -hmm. to their in-rack um, two-phase heat rejection. So it'll be the first it really end-to-end two-phase, all the way direct to chip heat rejection. So we're excited about that. Excellent. Wow. You really had a lot. You've had a lot going on since the last time we spoke. It's been a busy year for Munters, for a sure. A ton. A ton. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So beyond, you mentioned some partnerships and some acquisitions there. Beyond that, are there any other development um, projects that you could talk about um, when it comes to kind of addressing this incredible demand for data center cooling? Yes. Uh, it's really been ab about primarily addressing the liquid cooling market with our mm -hmm. customers. And uh, that, of course, involves coolant distribution units called CDUs. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we have been fully immersed uh, with our customers, with uh, working with sales and R&D to uh, define what the customer's needs are mm -hmm. and, and um, select the right components to integrate uh, the the parts and pieces into the package called a coolant distribution unit. And what that does is it typically takes facility water from a chiller or, or fluid coolers and it converts, it transfers that energy through a braze plate heat exchanger to the technology fluid that actually goes out to the cold plates. And so there's pumps involved, there's valves and controls and lots of stuff. So we've been really full-time immersed into that space, uh, developing liquid-to-liquid -liquid CDUs, um, refrigerant-to-liquid CDUs, refrigerant-to-refrigerant -refrigerant CDUs. So all the way around, we've got sizes from 500 kilowatts all the way up to 1.5 megawatts in capacity. So, And I'm pleased to announce that uh, just this morning, we, we announced that uh, we got a a new win of about $35 million USD for uh, a CDU project. Wow, that's incredible. $35 million new win uh, for, for a CDU project. That's amazing. Um, excellent. So uh, you've given us a little sneak peek then already of, of some upcoming news for you all. But um, as we kind of round out the year, is there anything you, in new exciting projects or anything in the works that you can give us a little sneak peek about? Well, Coming from an engineer's perspective, what's really exciting is the rate of innovation that's going on mm -hmm. in this space. Um, I've been at this now for 
you know, about 30 years, uh, over 30 years. And this is the most rapid change I've, I've observed, especially as the, as the liquid cooling gets integrated and everyone is trying in real time to figure all this out. How are they going to uh, manage all of this liquid cooling? Are they going to use uh, CDUs mounted at the end of the aisle? of the racks or are they going to put CDUs in a gallery, which is the approach that we're taking. Yeah. And what that, uh, the benefit of that is that it allows you to keep the facility water external to the white space and only run the technology fluid out to the servers. Mm -hmm. So all of the customers we're working on, actually, they actually want a gallery mounted uh, CDU platform. And so that's also involved not using, you know, standardized product, but actually developing engineered products for our customers. And that's one of our strengths mm -hmm. is, is being adaptable, nimble to uh, use our engineering skills to come up with the right solutions for the customer. So that's, um, that's been a, a really good development. And we're seeing our promise of our Cycool platform being adaptable to both air and liquid cooling actually come to play. Mm -hmm. So we've sold a lot of our Cycool product designed and installed for air cooling. And now we've actually got some customers that are actually wanting to pivot to liquid cooling. Mm -hmm. And the benefit of our Cycool is that the condenser that was installed to reject the heat from air cooling is now being adaptable to be used to our our what we call a liquid cooling evaporator, which is our version of a CDU. It's a liquid to refrigerant uh, CDU. And they get to reuse all of the infrastructure for that heat rejection and just install the LCE in the space. So we're seeing that. And then the last thing I'll mention to close is that, you know, so much going on in the space of artificial intelligence. And, and, and finally, we're, we're actually embracing that from the design perspective of our innovation. So we're, we're working with uh, companies that help optimize designs using AI. Mm -hmm. And we've already seen uh, what looks to be some really promising results um, in the way of the heat transfer aspects of our product and the ability to enhance performance we're seeing up to over 30%. So wow. we're, we're looking to build prototypes and test that out to, to see if that's reality, but that's that's another exciting thing. That is very exciting. Well, I'm glad that there are innovative companies like Munters uh, handling these incredible challenges. Like you said, in the industry right now, it's, it's the fastest rate of innovation that I think anyone has seen in the industry um, ever, or at least in quite some time. So uh, it's an incredible time to be in the industry. I'm glad there are very, very smart folks who are figuring all this out. Thank you so much for, for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. And thank you to our viewers uh, back at home for hanging out with us here at JSA TV. Happy networking.